Hey guys, welcome to the handover tutorial video in relation to the SatKing Pro Max. There's various satellite dishes, but all of them are quite the same in their operation and usage. We have our SatKing, our SatKing box, a HDMI splitter. I'm gonna tell you what all of them do so you can understand to get the most out of the system. But first and foremost, when you pick your Crusader up with your brand new satellite, it's gonna have a read this first, which normally I find best is if you read it first. Um, it's gonna give you a very clear indication of what you need to do to register the device. As you're traveling around, you know, Joe and Sandra, they're just living the dream. Um, you need to register a particular card with yourselves, right? So it's free to air TV, you're not paying a dollar, um, but you need to make sure that these guys who you're pinging off their satellites know who you are, right? So this card, it's got this little green card. Now, the fun fact about the card is this card located in here, if you flip this down, this little card here is particular. We're not gonna show you the number because it's special to this box. This guy here is married to this box, husband and wife, can't get divorced, always in one another's lives, have to stick around for the kids. That's this here. You cannot lose this card or you're getting a new box. You can't lose the box, otherwise you're getting a new, a new box and a new card. They're married together. You cannot separate them, they're one in the same. So this guy here lives in here. Now, you obviously need this number, which we're gonna shield and uh, you need to make sure you write this down, you put it away and you register it, um, particularly for you. And that's a yearly thing that you register with these guys. Um, you do it online, you can do it via post, and I believe there is a phone number as well um, located in uh, all the manuals. Um, you've got a user manual here, giving you an indication of how you use these bits and pieces, but we've got to set it up nice and easy. So let me walk you through the hardware. It comes with a PowerPoint, a 12 volt socket up here, in case you want to go to a Foxtel uh, install at a later stage with a dual LMB port. This is dual LMB port compatible uh, and Foxtel compatible, albeit they don't like you putting it in their caravans uh, whilst traveling around. This guy can do it. So it's got two imp uh, outputs um, or inputs uh, for the Foxtel box, um, but um, this one is set up just like normal. So inverter provisions there for that in this particular van. We have our Sat King Pro. This guy here is the control module for the big guy on the roof which is we've got four seasons hatches so we can't demonstrate, but he dances around, you'll hear him go and he'll be trying to find that particular satellite which we're gonna tell you what it is in just a second. This guy here is our HDMI splitter box. In order to be able to watch multiple uh, TV, or multiple uh, points of TV um, on this unit, this will allow you to be able to watch um, in different areas, you know, multiple TV stations once. So this guy here splits the signal. You've got four signals. In this particular van, we have our bedroom, which is one because it's currently lit up, and two will be a HDMI um, output for the outside TV hutch. In some of the bigger vans, you can have up to three on those as well. You have the Sat King box. Sat King box is the interpreter of information that is supplied to it via its vast smart card. So we're gonna put that back in. Now this is um, hardwired, so essentially it has constant power at all times. It doesn't run through the BMS. Um, it can be tracked through the BMS, but it will not be controlled through the mains off switch. You want to keep it all running at the same time. So the connection that goes to your TVs will be a HDMI connection. Typically in the installs with Crusader, we run a HDMI wall port. So there's a HDMI wall port just there going into the side of the wall, like so. And then I'm putting this into HDMI 1. Doesn't make a difference what you put it in, whatever you want to be able to put it in. So no signal uh, in its current format. Um, and then it will go to the uh, vast search signal. So smart card number, smart card status, chip, ID, all that sort of stuff. Um, then, you know, then with your Sat King remote, you can then start engaging it um, to main menus and tuning and whatnot. Um, now, the, the, the difficult part about using this system, obviously, is it needs to be registered. And unfortunately for me, I can't register it because I'm not the owner of this caravan. So we can only show you so far. So a little bit of it's gonna be up to you, but we're gonna show you the bulk of what you need to do. The other thing as well is we have a massive wall here, a big pole there and another caravan next to us. So our signal's really not gonna be grabbed anyway. But we're gonna show you how to try and get the signal and at least cut 90% of your headaches out of the way. So. Let's go back to our box. So our overhead cupboard is dedicated to the satellite. So after you've registered your card and you've done everything, we are going to power, right? Uh, so, well, we're actually, I'll tell you what, for the purpose of this, we're going to turn him off, right? Let's turn him off to start with. So you guys are starting at the same point. We'll turn him back on. 
fantastic. It's initializing um, and it's going to go into his sort of search mode. So his power's on, fantastic. Cool. Okay, so we're going to go down until we get to Optus D2. That is what we want, Optus D2. Okay, bingo bango, he's searching. So it's going to, now on the, the, the roof there, it's gonna lift itself up and it's going to start turning and it's gonna find in the sky the Optus D2 satellite. It's looking, it knows its coordinates, it's gonna grab it and it's gonna start grabbing that signal and screaming all that stuff back to the Sat King box, which is then gonna stream the signal back to the HDMI splitter box and you guessed it, it's gonna go straight to the bedroom TV. Right, so up here it just says searching, it's gonna keep searching and searching and searching and searching and searching. Once it's found, it's gonna say locked on or something to that equivalent, right? So he's gonna search and search and search. Unfortunately for the Sat King Pro, which I can hear rustling around the roof there, he doesn't know that he's never gonna find it. Because again, buildings, we've got chemist warehouse, we've got poles, we've got towers, we've got everything. It's not gonna happen. So really, for this guy here, you need to make sure you're parked outside of a tree or something. If you're under a tree trying to get signal, it's not gonna work. This is for outback remote, middle of nowhere. We're gonna paddock in Darwin sort of situation of camping. That's this guy right here, just for our TV signal for wherever we happen to be. And you get some really fantastic watches wherever you may be. So he's gonna be searching. We're gonna make this video seven hours long by the time he even attempts to get it, and probably never gonna get it. So keep watching, no. Um, we need to cut it short. So we press home, right? Move to home, okay. Yes, we want you to move to home. Great, good and he's gonna to move to home. Now what home looks like, is it looks like the satellite dish, for instance. If the satellite dish is up on this angle here, it goes, all right, whew, gotta go home. Lay on his back, let himself down, and that's travel position, right? Um, he will lay flat, um, and we need to make sure that he, in fact, moves to home to be able to drive. If the satellite is up and you try and drive, bad time. You wanna make sure it is secure, it's moving to home, and it's taken care of. Once it's moved to home, that will disappear off of the screen and it will say, I think it'll pretty much just go back to its home screen. So that's an indication that everything is all sweet. So it's flashing up here saying home. I can hear it trying to lay down. It takes a little bit of time, so just bear with this. Um, once he's laid flat, that's it. You can take off, you're ready for your next adventure. Once he's locked onto that signal, right, from previous, the Optus D2, very specific, Optus D2, manual's down below in case you wanna confirm any of this you can then jump onto here and it'll start allowing you to start tuning. It'll specifically ask you, can we tune up? You go, yep, tune up, we're ready to go. We supply the HDMI lead so it's a nice quick fit. That's already gone. Red light is constant. He's home, right? It's got GPS. He is ready to roll. And that, my friends, is everything you need to know about your satellite. For dual LMB connections, such as Foxtel hookup, have a chat to your local gym's antenna, your local gym's man, your local auto electrician, people like that, or your local caravan service agent. If you wanna know more, head to another video, find it all out, dive as deep as the rabbit hole will take you. We have heaps of videos to explore, guys, and we'll see you ready for the next one. Thank you so much.